How do you round 638 to the nearest 10? In this lesson, you will learn how to round to the nearest 10 by using a number line. First, let's review. A benchmark number is the number that lies on either side of a given number. On the top number line, 150 and 160 are the benchmark numbers for 157 when we count by tens. 157 is in between these two numbers. If we count by 100s, the benchmark numbers for 157 are 100 and 200. Let's also review the definition of rounding. Rounding means to find a number that is close to a given number. Here we'll use a real world example. Morgan is closest to the bakery, so she'll pick up the cupcakes. And Ashley is closest to the restaurant, so she'll pick up the pizza. The same is true for numbers on a number line. They will go to the nearest benchmark number. Let's also review the definition of a midpoint. On this number line, our benchmark numbers are 400 and 500. Once we add the increments to our number line, we want to find the middle. The middle of our number line is right at 450. The 5 gives us a clue that we're in the middle. This is the midpoint. The midpoint marks the middle of the line. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that the increments on a number line always signify counting by ones. But as you can see with this number line, the increments show counting by tens. Another common mistake is knowing when to round up or round down. It is important to consider the number size and the benchmark numbers when rounding. Now let's think about how we can use the benchmark numbers and midpoints to help us round. On this number line, our benchmark numbers are 410 and 420, with a midpoint at 415. Numbers less than the midpoint round down. Numbers the same as or greater than the midpoint round up. We can take that same number line and turn it into a curved number line. Again, our benchmark numbers are 410, 420, and then our midpoint is 415. We'll use a baseball to show that numbers that are at or above the midpoint will round up, and numbers that are below the midpoint will round down. Numbers between 410 to 414 will round down to 410. 415 to 420 will round up to 420. Now let's round 72 to the nearest 10. We'll focus on the 7 because it's in the 10s. 72 falls in between 70 and 80, so 70 and 80 are our benchmark numbers. The midpoint is 75 and falls halfway in between. If we place 72 on our number line, we can see that it is below the midpoint. So 72 will round down to 70. The 7 stays the same and the 2 turns into a 0 because we want to go to the nearest 10. Now let's round 368 to the nearest 10. This time I'll focus on the 6 because it's in the 10s. 368 falls in between 360 and 370 when we count by 10s. These are our benchmark numbers. When I add the increments, I can see that 368 is closer to 370 and is above the midpoint. This number will round up to 370. Notice, since we round up, the 6 turns into a 7 because we need to go to the higher group of 10, and the 8 turns into a 0. Let's try another one. Let's round down. When we round 132, it turns into 130. The 3 stays the same and the 2 turns into a 0. If we round up, 135 is, high, is at the midpoint and it would round up to 140. Notice again the 3 turns into a 4. In this lesson, you have learned how to round to the nearest 10 by using a number line.